Hi everyone, my name is Gabby Barragan and I'm a library customer service specialist with the El Paso Public Library. Uh, lately we've been getting a lot of questions about our GED courses, which unfortunately we are not hosting at this time as the libraries remain close to the public. Um, we are also not offering the test in any capacity. However, we did want to show you how you can go about accessing GED prep materials and practice tests using the Learning Express database that can be found through the El Paso Public Library website. So first thing, we're going to open up our web browser and we're going to type in www.elpasolibrary.org. It's going to take you to your library's homepage. So along this blue navigation bar here at the top of the page, we're going to click on where it says Explore. It's going to reveal a drop-down menu. And over here on the right, we're going to click on the link that says Learning Express. So it should redirect you to a web page that just talks a little bit more about what Learning Express is. Essentially, Learning Express is a database that's hosted on the TechShare database catalog through the Texas State Library and Archives Commission. And what it is, is an online suite of tutorials and practice tests designed to help students prepare for a variety of exams, such as the SAT, um, the U.S. Citizenship Test, and of course the GED, among others. So in order to access these materials, we're going to go ahead and click on Texture.net to open up the Texture database homepage. Now the easiest way to find the Learning Express database is by going to this blue navigation bar and clicking on where it says Resources A to Z. We're looking for Learning Express, so we're going to click on the letter L. And right here, your first result, Learning Express Library. Go ahead and click on that. So at this point, um, it's important to note that if you've never accessed the TechShare databases before, it's going to ask you for a set of credentials on a login page that looks pretty much exactly like this. So you're going to select your library. We are the El Paso Public Library. And it's also going to ask you for a password. So at this time, unfortunately, we are only able to offer passwords to card-holding patrons with the El Paso Public Library. So if you do not have a library card, I recommend that you go back to our library's homepage and follow the steps to applying for your very own library card so that way we can offer you that information. If you already do have a library card with us, then please feel free to give us a call at 915-212-3267 and we'll be happy to share that password with you. Once you've completed all the fields, go ahead and click the blue access button and it's going to direct you to the Learning Express homepage. At this point, you can go ahead and do some exploring if you'd like. Uh, Learning Express is actually a really great resource uh, for tools outside of GED prep. Uh, for instance, there's modules for building your computer skills. There's job and career development modules as well. But since we are talking about the GED, we're going to go ahead and click on this module right here, the High School Equivalency Center and it'll reveal a drop-down menu of a bunch of different options for you to explore. You can go ahead and click on any of them to take you to a more detailed list of what it is they have to offer. Um, so this first module right here, this drop-down menu that says, are you ready? These are kind of um, skills assessment tests, so that way you can check to see where you are in terms of a certain curriculum, once you've checked your skills to see what it is that you might need remediation in, you can go ahead to where it says build your basic skills and their skill builders in reading, writing, math, grammar, and vocabulary. Once you've built up your skills a little bit and you're ready to start prepping for the GED test itself, you can go ahead and click on where it says prepare for the GED. And we have different tutorials, ebooks, practice tests, all in the areas of language arts, math, science, and social studies, which you'll encounter on the GED test. 
there are materials offered for the GED prep in Espanol. Also, if you do happen to be studying for the HISCT and the TASC, uh, there's resources available for you as well. So as I mentioned before, we're not currently offering the GED test at our libraries right now, but if you find that you know, you're just ready to go and you want to get registered for a test, we recommend going to www.ged.com, which is the official GED website. And go ahead and sign up for your free account because that is how you're going to be able to get registered for the exam. You can go ahead and explore their homepage a little bit more and follow these steps to creating an account. They also have some study materials of their own if you'd like to explore that a little bit further or if you just wanted to get some extra practice in before your test. And then lastly, uh, right here where it says take the test, this is where you can log in to schedule a GED exam at a testing center in your area. So thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. I hope this helps clarify a few things for you. And of course, if you do have any questions, please feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to assist you with anything you need. Thanks so much.